UK Muslim man resorts to billboards to, quote, be saved from an arranged marriage. <laughs> On New Year's Day, Muhammad Malik, a 29-year-old British bachelor, had billboard ads put up in Birmingham, Manchester, and London in search for his soulmate. The billboards, <laughs> the billboards read, Save Me From An Arranged Marriage, with a link to Malik's website appropriate ti appropriately titled www.findamalikawife.com. <laughs> His website starts off with a video message for him where he states that he is seeking a Muslim woman in her 20s who is striving to better her deem, meaning her faith. Malik added, I'm open to any ethnicity, but I've got a very loud Punjabi family, so you need to keep up with the bands. Uh, when asked about his approach, he mentioned that the traditional matchmaker method was just not working out for him, so he wanted to take business into his own hands. Business is definitely booming because Malik has received over 100 offers from different women so far i i was like we have to cover this i love this man. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny i is it okay i'm very i'm i'm very i don't know why i the first thing i thought i was feeling bad for the who's who's the woman who's he's arranged to i feel bad for her no, it, it, he said that he's uh, gone through traditional matchmakers, but he hasn't had uh, an arranged marriage yet. Basically, okay, on his okay. website, he talks about how, like, if this doesn't work, that's what I'm going to do. He, he's Save like, me you know, arranged, arranged marriages thing. have their place Islamically, but, you know, I want to, you know, try to do my own thing first. Okay, but I'm assuming when he says save me from an arranged marriage, that means, like, he's there's somebody that he's arranged to marry. No. No? That's okay, like... Okay, okay. That's All the right, next step. Is... But I love, this I is... love, look at the pose. So for those yeah. who are listening, he's like, he's like leaned over on his side, like with a finger pointed up, like, hey. <laughs> Priya it's saying, this so seems like good. It, it's so good. Priya Priya saying, saying, this seems, seems like a, a pretty expensive alternative to Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it works. Is this video uh, short enough to for us to watch? Uh, I haven't actually watched it. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Let's oh yes, yeah, it's, it's only okay. It's only twenty eight seconds, so we could watch it. Let me know if you have idea. Hi, I'm Malik. You yes. might have seen my face on a billboard somewhere. Uh, I'm twenty nine, living in Levita, London. I am an entrepreneur. I'm a foodie, and I'm religious. I am looking for someone who is working on her dean. I'm open to any ethnicity, but come from a loud Punjabi family, so the banter has to be 100. If you're interested, fill out the form or check out my details. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cute. But it's so sad that like that's the main priority. So for people who don't know that work is, I'm looking for somebody that is working on her dean, that means like somebody that is working on her religion. I mean, he's probably going to... Okay, so here's the thing. He's probably going to find somebody very compatible, right? Because there's so many applicants now, right? But that's... Sh okay, I don't want to I don't want to ruin this news. This news is funny and kind of wholesome. And I don't want to take a bad conclusion. You know what? I'm not going to tell you what this means, what this shows to me, because I don't want to ruin... It's whole, this, this news is wholesome. I don't want to be... I don't want to poo-poo the, the good, the funny. News, well, now okay? I'm curious. So, I want to hear it. I was just saying, like, the fact that so many people, like, he's going to have a good compatible match because of the way, because he has so many applicants and he has to pick from them, right? But the fact that this is the main priority shows how many mismatches and how many people are going to be with the wrong person because they were choosing, like, the factor that they were, they're evaluating who they want to be about uh, is how seriously they're taking their religion, right? So somebody could be a lot more compatible with you, but they're not taking their religion very seriously. But because you've been brought up to value somebody that is taking their religion seriously above all other things, you're going to go with that person instead, and you're going to miss out on the person that was actually more compatible with you because you have these weird, bizarre metrics that is not, not very helpful and, you know, I don't know. I just think I just again. I, 
I, I don't, I'm being that glass half empty. Like this is supposed to be a wholesome news and I'm being a glass half empty kind of guy. Like I don't like, I don't know. I get that, what so. you mean because when you first yeah. started to say that, I, because I think people, part of combat, part of compatibility is alignment of values into a lot of people. Their religious practice is a big value. And I do think that that should be something that does align if that is very important to you. But your point about this is something that they were taught, especially yeah. some of the weird idiosyncrasies of it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, but in general, I, mean, I gotta say, I love this not, guy's attitude. I love his attitude as well. He's, he seems very sweet at all. And also, but no, it's not the case that just because some, just because religion is very important for you, that doesn't mean that you're going to be in line with somebody else that is taking religion very seriously. Okay. It's almost as if saying like, Oh, we're very like let's say like I'm I, I hate religion, right? I'm very, very anti theist, okay? That doesn't mean that if I find an, a, a girl that is also very, very against religion, just based on that, that doesn't <laughs> like if imagine if that was my criteria and that I made that my pri priority. I, 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 the odds would be very against me that if I find somebody like that is very against religion, we're like, oh, we're a perfect match. <laughs> not likely not likely <laughs> not if it's if you just go based on that right like no um anyways i just i but i think i think he's going to be fine because just based on the number of people that he's going to be able to choose from um yes i wonder if other people are going to now follow his mm, tactic and just like there's going to be billboards everywhere oh by the way he doesn't even you know what i think his main appeal is that he must be he must be well off if he could build a billboard, make it pay for a billboard like this. In right? multiple cities. So, so yeah, so he doesn't, you know what? I think a lot of women are gonna find this attractive, not necessarily because he's being like a lot of people are like, oh, I like I like how he's taking like how religious he is, how seriously he takes his dean. I think, but secretly they're like, this man's rich. <laughs> I think he didn't have to say, I don't have to tell you how rich I am, but I, I have billboards but you I saw me on billboards, billboards girl you, you saw me on billboards everywhere like so like obviously i think that would be the main appeal <laughs> mustafa is saying that he already applied oh my god mustafa did you get a response <laughs> oh my god oh my god um <laughs> i think I, what I, makes I, I wonder Besides if anybody's fact... going to convert to Islam because of this. Sorry, I was just going to... Don't forget what you're saying. I was just wondering if anybody's going to convert to Islam because of this. Wow. Just to be able to get this man. Wow. They're like... Uh, Mustafa you're... says that he's still waiting for a reply. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, so, serious, that would be a great argument. They're like, do you want to go find a woman that was always a Muslim or do you want to get the woman that became Muslim because of you? How much more seriously can you take religion if you convert it to it? You know what I mean? Oh, I have somebody at the door. No, but it you would be someone people. not converting for the sake of Allah and Muhammad's teachings. It would be converting for the sake of that D. Not the Dean. Hey, see what I did there. <laughs> Um, I make myself laugh the hardest, uh, more. I don't, I don't think anyone laughs at my jokes as hard as I do, you know, well, Armin has to go get his package. Let's check out his website very briefly. I think just me speaking for myself as a woman, I think what makes this attractive to me and not just like, well, for me, it's not, oh, he has billboards. That must mean he has money. But I think like he very clearly has a sense of humor about himself. Let's check out his website. Okay, here we go. Yeah, like, look at this guy. Got the finger pointing. I'm Malik, help me find a wife. No, this isn't a joke. Like, I, I, I love the attitude. Like, he's not taking himself too seriously, but he's just being like forthcoming about what he wants and, um, he put together like a very clean profile and it's a little tongue in cheek. Um, I think, uh, is this a joke? No, I'm serious. I've been searching for a partner who will work with me to grow our love for each other and Allah. If this sounds like you, please get in touch. Um, I, I don't know. I think, um, 
as a woman, this is this kind of attitude is like very appealing to me. Um, you know what the only problem is? What? He's Sunni, not Shia. I think you would have considered. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Susanna would have considered <laughs> reaching out if it was Shia. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> if like, his oh. heart doesn't beat for Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mustafa is saying Malik means king, and I want to be his Malika. <laughs> oh my God, Mustafa. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.